Hi guys, back down in the workshop today and I've got a little project I'm working on. I uh, picked this up at an auction for super cheap. Um, it's actually an old microscope set. And I had a really cheap one when I was younger and it was a lot of fun. So I mean, for the price that this one was, I thought it'd be fun just to look at things and um, fun little toy. As you can see, it's, it's pretty old. Um, it's actually fairly good quality. Um, but the styrofoam is kind of gross and some of these little test tubes are used so I'm going to clean those out. Um, I'd like to uh, paint the styrofoam so it doesn't look so dirty. It also came with this little box of specimens here which are kind of neat just like kid specimens but they're fun to look at. So I'd like to make a spot for these to fit inside the case as well. So I might notch this piece out. Um, and this also has this ugly alligator something type print, but uh, unlike new stuff that you buy, this is actually older stuff and it's actually made out of plywood. So I'm going to peel off this ugly coating and fix the wood here, glue it back together. And I might do like a nice finish on, on the wood here and try to spruce this thing up a bit. So that's uh, going to be today's project. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty everything out of it so that I can paint that styrofoam. So this is going to come out all of these guys. Okay, so now I'm going to notch out the spot for Seth's specimens here. Okay, now let's try to get this ugly coating off. Okay, so our styrofoam is now dry. I think that looks better than it did, so definitely better than that dirty white. So I'm gonna move this aside. And I've got the box all finished and sanded. So now we're going to stain this. I'm just gonna do the inside first. And I want it to be fairly dark, so I've got some walnut here. Okay, now that the stain is dry, um, I'm just going to put a thin clear coat on there just to protect it. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that clear coat to dry, I'm just going to throw everything back in here. Here's the top piece, it comes with this little manual and it's got this little indentation for the manual to fit in but this is going to be on the top and when I close it obviously it's going to fall out. So what I'm going to do is add a little rubber band in the middle. I'm just going to use some nails to attach that. Push it right in. Stretch this across. Push that in. 
There, so now I can slide this in and out, and it won't fall out. There. I've got the little cutout I made for the specimens. That should stay in place too. So there, I think that looks pretty good compared to what we had before. And then once the top is dry, we'll put that back in. But I think this is gonna be a nice little set and I'll have fun with that. Okay, so now the uh, case is dry. I'm just gonna move these. So it's not shiny, it's just a, a thin clear coat just to keep it, I don't know, keep it from getting scuffed up. So I'm going to put these in here now. Odd one. Top one. There. I think that looks pretty good. Definitely an improvement from when I first got it. Not quite happy with that. That's a cute little kit. So this wasn't a very uh, fancy project, but occasionally I like to do these little, uh, little projects. Um, I like to take something that's old that someone thinks is pretty much has no value and clean it up, bring new life to it, and uh, either keep it for myself or give it away to someone else. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as usual, thanks for watching.